Hey there everyone, welcome back to another series of LA's Real Estate Talk. Before we dive in today's topic, let's catch up on what's buzzing in Pasadena right now. During this week, Pasadena City College's Board of Trustee members announced its campaign for re-election. The new Irwan store scheduled in September's job fair. Pasadena's Fire Department received recognition for heart care and the Pasadena Humane Society announced their 2024 photo contest with these little cuties. But hey, in today's episode, other than Taylor Swift singing a song never sung before, in LA we're going beyond the headlines and into the nitty gritty of cost of living in our beloved city of Pasadena. So hold on to your seats because we're about to uncover some eye-opening facts that just might redefine your perspective. First things first, let's set the stage. Hey guys, it would be extremely kind of you to hit that like or subscribe button if you appreciate the work and research I put into making this video. There's a lot that takes place behind the scenes and putting this all together. I haven't counted, but I would probably spend about 25 to 30 hours getting this video to you. This recording was made about five days ago before I posted this. With that said, the only way I know you appreciate it is by clicking that like or subscribe button. That's how I know you love me. Now let's get back into business as usual. Cost of living, it's not just about numbers, it's about the lifestyle you're investing in. It includes everything from housing to healthcare, groceries to transportation, and more. It's the pulse of our city and I'm about to break it down for you. So if you want to live life to the fullest, make sure you have a wallet that's full too. But before we dive deep into the world of expenses, let's get to know our city a bit better. Pasadena, with its vibrant heart and progressive energy, is home to approximately 138,000 incredible souls. Its roots run deep with a history that paints a floral narrative. And oh, Pasadena is renowned for their annual Rose Parade held usually on New Year's Day with participants of either a floral, decorated float, stunning horses, or marching bands all around the world. What really fascinates me about Pastina is that NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, also known as JPL, is tucked into the foothills of the Arroyo Seco Mountains. JPL is the foundation where rockets were invented in the United States. Today, they are the leaders in robotic space exploration like the Mars rover. Managed by Caltech, JPL is NASA's only federally funded research and development center. Well, the strong link between NASA and Caltech today dates all the way back to the 1930s. In the 1930s, Caltech was a relatively new university with only about 40 years of history. But despite their relative youth, Caltech was already starting to receive worldwide recognition for their brilliant alumni. Caltech didn't hand out its first doctoral degree till 1920, but just three years later in 1923, Robert A. Millikan would become Caltech's first Nobel laureate winner. Such impressive feats for such a young university attracted some of the best professors in the world to teach at Caltech. Even Albert Einstein would periodically teach at Caltech throughout the early 1930s. And that's pretty cool. Now let's talk about what we've all been waiting for, the categories that shape our cost of living. In this financial adventure, I'll be covering six major categories, housing, utilities, food, transportation, healthcare, and communication. Why? Because I can. I'm kidding. These are the core to determining our living costs. Let's start with housing. The heart of our comfort zone. Do you even rent? According to the MLS, in the past six months, as of today, if you're going to be renting, depending on the square footage and the quality, rent can range anywhere from $1,950 to $4,995 per month for a one-bedroom apartment or condo. And for a single family house, rent can range anywhere from $2,795 to $6,500 per month for a two bedroom. Now let's move forward to the buying side. If you're considering buying, let's break it down further. A one bedroom condo in Pasadena with current affordability and interest rates can range anywhere from $3,318 to $6,211 per month. That's the range for condos priced from $425,000 to $810,000 and these include PITI, principal, interest, taxes and insurance, and homeowners association fees. Keep in mind, interest rates have risen in the past year and we're near 7.5%. This is one of the primary factors in computing these monthly costs. And if a two-bedroom single-family house is your dream, let's discuss that also. 
Prices vary depending on location, size, and quality. However, on the lower end, these prices currently range from $630,000 to $2,720,000 for sold properties in the last six months. Translating this into monthly payments, they range from $4,326 to $18,345. These monthly payments also include PITI. If you want to learn more about property taxes and how they're calculated here in Los Angeles, check out the card above. I'll leave a link in the description below. Utilities, the unsung heroes of our daily lives, from water and power to gas and trash, Let's discuss and reveal the figures that keep our households running. The city of Pasadena supplies water and power. Household prices vary based on usage. The average monthly cost for water and power is about $108.13. According to the latest from the Federal Reserve economic data, the average cost of gas per therm, also known as thermal units, has decreased significantly in June to 1.716 per therm usage. If we assume the same amount of usage for August is true, then the charge from SoCal gas amounts to 58.283 cents per therm usage. That amounts to an average cost of $100 for August compared to $1,593 in January. Thank God those days are over, but expect gas prices to fluctuate month over month, whether you rent or you own. Based on the city's trash rates, range from $12 to $41 per month. Trash cost on average, $30 per month. Food, a necessity and a pleasure. Let's take a bite out of the average grocery bill and compare it with dining out. Whether you're a budget eater or a fine dining enthusiast, I've got you covered. Here in Pasadena, there are plenty of grocery stores to choose from, from major chains to localized to mom and pop grocery stores, and prices will vary from one store to another. However, grocery prices will slightly be higher than the average price in the US. You could expect to spend anywhere around $900 per month for a family of four. In some cases, this can be less if your family size, budget, and living style are different. However, if you decide to dine out and spend at a restaurant on the lower end for two, it will cost on average $50 with tax. Pastina also has some upper scale restaurants which can cost on average for two around $150 to $250. Depending on how much you spend and where you spend and where you visit, prices will vary. Now let's fuel our attention to transportation costs gas prices, auto insurance, and public transportation costs, let's find out the inside track on these expenses. Currently, the average gas price here in Pasadena is around $5.10 per gallon at a regular pump. On the conservative side, if you work in Pasadena or from home, that's great news. However, if you commute to downtown LA for work, which is about 11 miles, it will cost you on average $60 to $80 to fill your tank once per week. Of course, there are other cost-effective options to getting around town. Pastina offers Pastina Transit bus service for local transportation. Regular routes cost 75 cents. Los Angeles provides transportation services as well, from bus to metro rail. A regular trip costs about $1.75, but for students, it's free. There are plenty of options to getting around town, but if you're driving, your monthly costs will be roughly $350 per month. And finally, auto insurance. It's difficult to determine what the average person drives because different types of vehicles and policies vary. However, the auto insurance in Pasadena is slightly higher than the average California insurance rate. You could expect to pay about $256 per month for full coverage. Our last attention goes to communication. Even though it's not a big bill, but it's a big part of our lives and you can expect to pay on average about $70 per month. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the bottom line. Let me break down the total cost of living for renters, condo owners and those who aspire to live in a single family house. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Additional costs like childcare, education and entertainment aren't in the picture. In this calculation, I assume your regular W-2 earner 
who enjoys grocery shopping. I'm not including the cost of dining out, and if you're a W-2 earner, then the health insurance cost is deducted from your gross pay. But don't forget the cost of having fun. That includes things like Netflix subscriptions, video games, and trips to the ice cream shop. And for those who aspire to own a single family house, don't forget the cost of lawn care, which can quickly add up. After adding up the minimum cost for a renter, we're looking at a monthly expense of $3,284 and a maximum of $6,329 out of pocket. This is what it will cost you. Now, if you purchase a condo, expect to pay at least $4,302 to $7,545. Again, reminding you that this is the bare minimum of owning your own desired condo in Pasadena. However, if you choose to purchase a single family house, you'll need a minimum monthly payment of $5,660 to a maximum of $19,000. $679. Even though this is on the lower end of how someone spends, it's also highly possible that a single family house homeowner would spend a bit above these amounts. Remember, if you have no choice but to purchase in this market, the good news is that when interest rates do come back down, you'll probably pay much less for housing costs. Housing costs are the biggest cost of living item. Remember, if you have no choice but to purchase in this market, the good news is that when interest rates come back down, you'll pay much less for housing costs. Housing costs are the biggest cost of living items. It amounts roughly to about 50 to 60% of our expenses. That's huge. Before I sign off, I have a special treat for you. Check out the link below for a customized relocation guide if you'd like to learn more about Pastina as your new home you'll be pasadena -ing it up in no time. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe for a regular dose of real estate insight. Thanks for tuning in to LA's Real Estate Talk where we unpack the world of real estate and true cost of living right here in Pasadena. This is John, until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.